and right now we are seeing some clouds and even some rain off in the distance from our broad camera. In Fort Lauderdale, yes, yeah, some of you already needed to use the windshield wipers and keep the umbrella in the car so you have it handy and you don't get caught off guard. And right now as we're looking from our Key West camera, a mix of sun and clouds. And the radar is showing some showers and spots. And we're seeing a shower headed towards a Lighthouse Point. Now dealing with the rain and plantation, that's all moving towards the west. Also some showers through Miami Beach and also through parts of Virginia Key earlier now, downtown Miami as well as Brickell and even into parts of Coral Gables and South Miami near Pinecrest. Seeing some showers beginning to mush, move into your neighborhood also down Cartside Road. We've been soaked in some uh, of the upper keys, the lower keys dealing with those scattered showers. Now there is a risk of thunderstorms for us. The marginal risk of severe weather is for parts of Mississippi, Louisiana and Texas. But for us, thunderstorms will be likely as we head into the afternoon especially and we could see some downpours right now winds out of the east about 13 to 14 miles an hour temperatures a little warmer this morning low to mid 70s in Broward Dade County upper 70s through the Keys but as we head into the afternoon because of the clouds and the rain around we will not be as warm as yesterday in fact our coolest day is today with the upper 70s for highs but with those storms we could see some downpours the future radar showing that through the morning some showers here and there and then becoming more widespread as we get into the afternoon there could be some more heavy downpours into the evening commute could even be soggy and look at what a mess into tonight. You could be hearing some rumbles of thunder with some showers and storms overnight and into tomorrow. Small craft advisory is in place for boaters because of those winds out of the east 15 to 20 knots seas 5 to 7 choppy on the bays and a dangerous high risk of rip currents at the beach. Although today is really not the best day to head to the beach due to those storms around. So as the front lifts back north as a warm front over us all that moisture is going to keep us unsettled and on the wet side through tomorrow we need the rain. We'll take it and then the rain chance will be lower but temperatures will be warmer as we head into late week and into the weekend and we'll keep an eye on a possible cold front for next week. We'll see about that but upper 80s though as we head into Friday and Saturday as the rain chance decreases and we'll be a little warmer then.